Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 8 Survival Multiplayer. So, since the last episode, I did manage to go get a, a Blaze and an Enderman. That was super easy. So, the Enderman I found in the Nether. And, how do you say that in the chat right there? P Zigma. P Zigma. Uh, happily just uh, turned on his blaze spawner for me so I could go and grab a blaze from his spawner and uh, I just yoinked it and I used my little setup over here where is it right there um, oh by the way this was my attempt right here to drop a creeper down so what I did was I like I'll tell you what let's go up there I'll show you there we go so what I did was I sh just hit shift went to the side here and then uh, with the yoinker, I just placed down the, the creeper right there. And uh, it nearly exploded, but it landed on the floor and then it got sucked into a jar. How am I doing now? 35%. Okay, cool. So it is just 5% per mob that you put in there, just so you know. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I've got a bunch. Oh, yeah. I also put down way more drawers. So we are clearing out. All of the the storage that we've got right here i've got an empty 1k right now and uh i could in fact take both of these out and if i grab my disc manipulator for now i'm just going to stick it right here and we're going to put that one in this one i am going to actually pop out because we can use this storage part again if we fancied uh so when this one finishes as well, I'm going to use this storage part as well. And at some point, it would be good if I could just have a 64k. Although, I have been chatting with people on the server. And I think what be, what would be quite nice is... Or it would be uh, interesting to see if we could do this. I might try and not use discs at all. That would be a weird experiment to do, right? So... What I could have is another external storage on a big old chest up here. And then what I'll do is when I've got like a bunch of items, a bunch of different items like uh, like netherrack, for example, I, I will set up a drawer for it and cobble and deep slate. I finally set my deep slate one back up because it was clogging up my backpack. Uh, but yeah. I put a few things down. Another little automation that I did was I've got a exporter right here. I've got a modular router. Modular router is literally just sending over to the basin over here. And then that's plonking out some dusts, which ends up in the chest. And you can see it's being pulled out from there using this modular router. So you can see the, the beam, every so often the beam. Wait for it. There it is. Oh, wait, that was the beam from this one over here. Uh, but yeah, this one here will pull from the chest and put into this chest. Wait, no, it's this one up here that does that. So this modular router pulls from that chest, puts into this chest, and then just simply pushes down into... That is a lot of dust that we've got right there. Wow. Um, I also put down a another drawer. The cool thing about these drawers is you can sort of paint them. So, wait, where's the drawer that I'm trying to look for? I think it's behind this slope. Uh, but you can see right there, that is a functional storage drawer right there. It's just painted, if you know what I mean. It's, um, what do they call it? It's, a, it's like a framed drawer, basically. So, yeah, I'm using those everywhere where I can. Another thing I did was I removed the importer from this chest right here. And upstairs, instead of the... So let's pop upstairs because I think this is kind of interesting. Instead of the modular router pushing into... So let's... Oh, sweet blaze rods. That's, that's actually really good for us. Let's, let's plunk them there. So yeah, instead of it pushing into the chest and then we have an importer into the system, it's purely pushing into this storage controller and this storage controller is linked to all of the drawers and that way what I can do is have all of the drops that the the drag means like give us 
from any of these chests. These were full a minute ago, by the way, so they they have been filtering through. It's going to take all of the, the different drops and it's going to chuck them into the draw controller, which is connected to all of these drawers. I did expand this a little bit. And yeah, that, that'll get us a bunch of stuff. I'm still waiting for them to uh, to look over here at this containment jar because ender pearls would be very nice right now. I'm glad that we got blaze rods though. That does remind me that uh, I need to... How's this doing? Okay, well, blaze rods. I did have a few, so what I'm going to do is take them out, plonk them back in, and then if I use my elevator, there's another block that I added, that'll send us up here. The sounds are a bit buggy still. I'm not sure why. But yeah, there we go. Now all six of them are in the drawer rather than in the disc. So we freed up another like three spots or whatever it was. So I like that. I also went around and I put in like uh, a bunch of the copper upgrades because they're the ones I can afford right now, unfortunately. Uh, upgrades. So there's the copper, there's the gold, the diamond and the netherite. You need to put the, the diamond one in a smithing table to get the netherite one. But there's also, where is it? Uh, okay, it's not going to show up here because it's a downgrade, which is the iron one. So the iron one is actually, uh, so downgrade, there it is. The iron one just does the opposite to everything else and it will turn a drawer from a, uh, what is it? Let, let's, let's pop upstairs easier. So it would turn, say, this draw right here. So if we right click, you've got all of these uh, little storage augments right here. It will turn this from a draw that can hold where, uh, let's click on one of these, that one. It can hold 2K into a draw that can hold one stack of items. So it's not 64, it's one stack. So for example, ender pearls only stack up to 16, just like eggs, right? So you could only put 16 in one that's got a downgrade. You can also not put in 2,000 like you can with every other draw because ender pearls only go up to 16. So it's actually a quarter of what you can normally put in the draw. But anyway, I'll stop talk talking about draws now. Uh, I'm still kind of waiting. These are working now. Oh, that's another thing. You might, might have noticed that I bumped up the the floor a little bit so I left all of this stuff where it was because I didn't want to break the hinges just in case and uh, yeah I just put another slab on top and then moved the, the walls up slightly I'm actually thinking this will be a four high room so uh, I'm gonna bump all of these up as well I'm gonna add a few more storage drawers as well up here I might do this bit as well but I, I kind of want to have another set of jars that go here and here same on this side uh i do intend on getting more of these uh containment jars at some point but for now i think it'd be cool to move on to eh, come on get down there we go move on to something else and that is evil craft now with evil craft there is uh on the server at least oh, i've moved my waystone outside and i've done my little thing that i like to do with waystones with a bit of stairs and everything but if we pop over to spawn, I did set it to like let everybody do public waystones now as well. Plus, I've turned off the like need for waystones like XP that is needed, if you know what I mean. Oh, I also set up a donation chest, and for some reason, it's cutting it off. That is dumb. Right, anyway, that's my donation chest. So if you do want to like give me anything i i've set up a, a donation chest where the modular router pulls from this chest puts into this ender chest which is mine cyan 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 is kind of my color so i added that and then i was like wait i can just make it private so what this does is make this basically just put into the ender chest and over at my base let's go to Piltopia, which is public by the way anybody on the server so if you do join the server if you uh, pop on the Patreon and have access. So you, you can always just pop to my base and see what I'm up to. 
uh, over here, uh, people have been sending me stuff. So they've put in like a cardboard box, a diamond, an environmental card, which are interesting. These are really interesting, actually. We we should get into that at some point. It gives wow, well, there you go, flight module. It gives you like the ability to set up flight in just like one area. So you don't have flight everywhere, but you've got it in one area. Uh, give me a nether star and a golden apple. So what I've been saying is like I, if I'm desperate to use something and I don't have any and someone has donated it to me, I might come over. So for example, say I need like a thousand blaze rods and I've only got 600 and someone's given me like, you know, a couple of thousand in the donate chest. Uh, I will probably come and nick them purely because I'm like, well, I have got it like sorted already. It's just, uh, you know, I, I don't want to wait for it. If you know what I mean, because, uh, I record and I think people on the server were like, that's a really good idea. So I like that idea. Uh, anyway, we were going to go look at spawn because over here we do have the evil craft blood set up. So someone has already automated it on the server. But what I'm going to do is for now, I'm going to say I'm not going to use this ender, ender tank thing because, well, I want to show you guys how to automate a bit of blood. Okay, this is being a bit... Why are you so far away? I've just realized, like, that one is bumped out by quite a way. That's so strange. Anyway, we can go out this door. <laughs> so you can go in, but you can't come back out weird anyway so the first thing you're going to want to make is you, you need one of these blood extractors so a bit of spikes one blood extractor second age perfect i need to go and uh, slaughter a bunch of stuff to get loads of blood so when you've got it in your inventory and you kill something uh i don't know if it would work on where's all the squid and stuff I don't know if I'm just very unlucky and there's none about right now, but wow, there's nothing around. I, I love that. Anyway, we'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll go find something to kill. Maybe I'll pop into the nether. It's always a good place in it. Oh, there's a squid. Let's try and kill this and I'll show you that we can get some blood. There we go. We just killed the, uh, squid and we got a hundred blood. Ah, that is a new mob that we don't have. So I'm going to try and mob yoinker the uh where are you the drowned right there because again we're trying to collect pretty much every everything oh there's an evil craft that's the little little blighter i was talking about earlier if i can get to him come here come here come here come here come here eh. oh i got him nice right let's get out of here before we drown the uh the server does make it so it's like you can stay underwater for quite a while. I'm not sure why that is. It's probably to do with like tick lag or something. But uh, it's been doing all right. The server has been doing okay. Uh, we did have to have a rollback recently to be fair. But that is because uh, I believe, funny enough, it was to do with Ars Nouveau. Somebody tried to use the mob duplicator from Immerse... No, uh, Industrial Foregoing, sorry. And... They tried to do it on one of those animated blocks that you can make from ours. So what you can do is you can animate any block in the game and the block will start like moving around and stuff. So they caught it as a mob. They put it in the mob duplicator expecting to like use it as a uh, as something that they could like kill off. Because every time you kill it off you get the item back. It's kind of like Silk Touch if you know what I mean. So we could turn this uh, grass block into like you can animate it it will turn into like a mob almost and then when you kill it you get the silk touch version of that like in this case it would be a grass block but when they tried to use the mob duplicator it caused a horrendous amount of lag to the point where it crashed the server and corrupted the file so i would suggest not doing that 
unless you are, I don't know, your world is really, really messed up already and you're like, I want to see if it actually works. It does work, just I wouldn't do it because it will corrupt your world. But anyway, uh, the more you know, eh? Like, we didn't do that in our, our single player, and I'm quite glad we didn't, because otherwise we would have to have done a backup. But Oh, and the server is backed up every six hours currently. I'm thinking about moving that to every three hours. Uh, I think it, it keeps, like, four backups. So it does a backup, and then the next backup will be there with it, if you know what I mean, and then so on and so on. And then when we get to four, it will just delete one of them, the, the oldest one, and make a new backup. So we did lose, I think it was just before it was about to take a backup, so we did lose like five hours worth of uh, of work. Unfortunately for everyone else, but fortunately for me, I wasn't on the server for that five hours, so I think it was whilst I was sleeping. Like, in real life sleeping, so <laughs> I wasn't on there. So I didn't lose anything, but I, I am... Uh, very apologetic to those that did lose something so sorry about that guys uh we could probably go put these in i'll tell you what i'll just stick them in the system for now and we'll go get some more blood from somewhere so this is a bit of a spoiler for a base that i'm at right now uh i am supposed to be able to fly because they've got the flight module thing over there yeah this is missings wait it will say it on the so if i do map rishi's uh They've got a team. I forgot about that. So, missing part, Crickies, Rishi's, and I think uh, Crickies' uh, wife is also on the server right now. Uh, making, like, all the food, which is awesome. And they've got some, like, ridiculously nice builds. But the reason why I'm over here is because I'm going to try and find the blood-making area for... Uh, that I think missing set up, missing part. So I cannot remember where he's put it. Is it this one? Uh, I can't find the blood setup, but I can explain it. How's that? So what they've done is they've got a cow spawner maxed out to, to the brim, basically. The cow spawner then spawns in a ton of cows. The cow goes into like the corner using vector plates. And then in the corner... There's one of those spikes. So, oh, I was already on it. At evil spikes. So this spiked plate, which is super easy to make. Just use uh, some iron and some of these spikes. We made some of those spikes a minute ago to make this, right? So the blood extractor. So where is the recipe for this? There you go, blood extractor. And you put that on a pedestal. So one of these pedestal. Either the sanguine one or the powered one. And then if the spike is on top and there's a mob being like hurt above it, it will produce some blood and then you can suck the blood into your system. And because they were spawning so many cows, and they also had a switch, by the way. But anyway, they were spawning so many cows, I was like, okay, never use that again because it will lag the server out. I will just give you a uh, slash spawn born there we go i would just give you a creative fluid tank because they were just going to leave it on i think which is fine like that's what you'd expect i would have left it on but instead i was like this is probably easier so now they've got infinite blood they had a switch on it which is what i was about to say earlier to swap it from doing evil craft to doing the uh meat and the pink slime so I was like, okay, well, I'll give you those two as well, because they, they could switch it to be either one. Ooh, hello. What's this one do over here? Actually accessible donation chest. What do you mean? Can you not? I, this, this part isn't, isn't chunk loaded. It, yeah, isn't loaded, right? Oh, who loaded that? Did I load that? I think I did. Whoops. You silly sausage. Okay, well, what I'll do is I'll move this. And I will put it here for now. And then I can change the, the, the puller module to be that one. 
There you go. So this thing can still shoot at this if they wanted to. And then, yeah, that, that'll do it. I didn't know you could do that with ours. You can actually send items into people's chunk claimed area. That's good to know. Right, anyway, we have to go kill a bunch of stuff. I do see, like, loads of fish and stuff. Maybe we'll try that over here. So we could try and kill some of these fish, and we can get a load of blood. There we go. Found enough things to kill, and this is, like, a bunch of food that I haven't eaten before. So uh, I'm definitely going to put one of those in. One of those in, and one of those. I've already eaten a carp. Okie dokie. I've not eaten a gar, though, so... That's the sound you make when uh, <laughs> when the server goes down. But anyway, I forgot about these. I've got some rewards from Corail Tombstone. Let's do a slash home quick. And we can open these in our base. So, eh. Ooh, Merchant Stone. These are rare magical stones allowed to obtain better exchanges with a merchant. Item is in beta. Feedback is welcome. That's pretty cool. I like that. And then we got ourselves a soul receptacle. Wait. No way. Did we just get that? That's insane. Because you need that for the uh, the creative Oz book. I didn't think I'd be able to get that. That took me flipping ages to get that. That's crazy. Okay, I'm going to do the thing where you put it in chat. So shift T. Right, anyway, uh, so now that we've got some blood, what we are going to do is we are going to dry the blood out. So let's stick it right here and shift and click. Is that not it? Shift, click. I'm so confused. This is normally how you do it. You put it down. Oh, you just right click. Durr. Yeah, so you right click, you leave this for a while. And then it will turn into some hardened blood. Hardened blood. Oh, you can use integrated dynamics as well. Cool. I don't remember if you break it with a normal pickaxe if you actually get the hardened blood. But you, you can, I think, smelt it from there and you get the, the shards. And that's what we're looking for, the shards right now. There we go. It has converted, and you get the shard straight away. Okay, that's when you mine it like that. If you were to use the, uh, where is it? This thing. Yeah, if you were to use this method, you could just smelt it up. But we got lucky, and we actually got the nine. I don't think it's guaranteed that you get nine. So, uh, evil craft. We are looking to make, I should bookmark a few things, shouldn't I? So... I did get an exporter before because back here. So we want to make a blood infuser. I want to make a purifier and I want to make a few blocks, but you can do that in the blood infuser. And I think that's all we're going to do for now. So let's see what we have to do to make the blood infuser. Right. So we need... Oh, I just remembered how you make this. You have to drop it in five blocks of... Uh, so, you put down the liquid, and then you drop one of those dark gems in. So, and we need five of those. So, let's grab a dark gem. And I wanted to see if I could just put the blood straight from here into here. Or can we do this, or this, or... Yeah, how do we use this? Insert blood into machines for extra blood. Okay, so... I don't think you can do it on the extractor. So we do need to go kill a bunch of stuff. Which is fine. Another thing I could do, which is kind of cheaty. I might do it, why not? Just so I don't have to go kill a bunch of stuff. If we pop to spawn, we can use our blood extractor on the ender tank, like that. And it will fill it all the way up. So that is the five things of... Oh, I can't go out that side, can I? That's the five things of blood right there. So let's go to back to base. I can then put all of these down. I'm just going to carve out a little area and I'll put the dirt back later. Like that. And then right click, right click, right click, right click, right click. And then lob that in. And it turns itself into a dark power gem. Right, let me put these back. There you go. 
So now, with that, if we can make ourselves the uh, blood infusion core, I need one of those. After that, it, it's super simple once you've done that because you can actually infuse. There you go. Evil craft. Oh my goodness. Is there not an evil craft? There isn't an evil craft one. I just noticed. There's no quest for evil craft. That is not what I was expecting. I would definitely assume evil craft to be under magic right here. I might suggest that to the ATM team, see what they say, because I would I would love to see some evil craft. For now, I think this is literally where I put my evil craft set up in uh in my single player, but we're just gonna chuck it there for now. And where's the blood that we just had? We can use these in the machine. So if we open that up, it's got this little droplet right there. And you get quite a lot of blood out of that. So you get 500 millibuckets of blood, which is super cool. And then we need a purifier. So we do already need another dark gem, which takes 250. So dark gem. I need to go mining at some point, but let's lob that in. This, by the way, takes a phenomenal amount of time. A lot of stuff from Evilcraft takes ages. If you're in your single player world, don't do it on the server if I were you, but because <laughs> it will lag the server out and it will add more ticks. But what I would do if I were you in a single player world is I would either use a time in the bottle, which you'll notice I'm not using at all in this series because it's not, not great on server, but you can use a time in the bottle or you can use some sort of tick acceleration. So yeah, there's that. I need to wait for this to... Oh, no, never mind. It's already done. Perfect. So we can plonk that in. I also need more of the hardened blood, which is fine. I might actually make... Let's make a drying, drying basin. Why the heck not? One, two. Drying basin. Hey, drying basin, like a boss. And then I can stick it there. No, let's not stick it there. There you go. Oh, server is having a bit of a struggle, but we can nab a bunch of blood out of here. In fact, we don't really need that much blood, but I think it will only take 1,000 millibuckets. So let's do that. And over time, this drying basin will turn that into hardened blood. That way we don't have to just like leave it out. Just realized I did all that recording without putting the recording thingy on. <laughs> oh, flipping heck. Right, let's swap that out so it will get us some blood. I'm not sure what this is going to do now. Is it going to clog the system? Because this pulls into here, but it has nowhere to go. We got 10 out of that. Is that a thing? Do you get 10 out of it if you uh Oh no, because I already had one. Uh, yeah. So anyway, we got that now. So we can make ourselves Oh, you're kidding me. I need one more. No, I don't. I've I've got the exact amount that I need. I just need to make one of these gem blocks. I'm getting proper close now to not being able to do this, but it is fine. So we can stick that next to this and then we have got some blood. Perfect. Let's grab ourselves a new pickaxe. Which is the Vengeance Pickaxe. Now we need more blood. Brilliant. We also need to make one of these undead planks. So to do that, we are going to need a dead bush. Yes. And that takes 800. Okay. So dead bush. How do we make that? Just any salt. I do have some salt because of mechanism. So we're going to convert one of those. And then again, we stick that in the blood infuser. That takes ages, but I swear this is quicker than it used to be. Maybe they have upped the speed of stuff. But I think things that use quite a lot of blood will actually uh, take even longer. But we need uh, one of these trees. And I'm not going to put it down because it generates little bloods, blood splatters around it which you can suck up using a pedestal but 
I don't really want to do that because it causes quite a bit of lag. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get a hopper botany pot and I've got a perfect space for it right back here. So that's where we're going to going to put it. Okay, the uh the sapling is now in a botany pot over there. I did just want to point out that we're having a weird weird bug on the uh, on the server right now. I'm going to have to install world edit at some point to delete a couple of creative exporters so eh. if we run over here to Michelot's base yeah there's a uh, it, it's not loading whatsoever <laughs> there's a three by three chunk area where it just does not load very weird very strange honestly like these chunks here just don't work because there's some creative importers and exporters one of um Michelo's mates that's on the server has uh, has access to the uh, official All The Mods, so from the All The Mods team. If you're a Patreon over there, you also get access to their server. So I highly suggest it because they're amazing people. This mod pack would not be available without them. So uh, yeah, definitely go check them out at least. They've got a lovely Discord. Uh, but they have figured out that it's uh, refined storage and one of them is on the Patreon server that they've got. Oh, let's get up on our... our... Uh, no, come back. This is our, our thinking tree, right? So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so one of them's on the server with them and apparently they've disabled refined storage because of this issue because it just corrupts chunks. So keep that in mind. If you are going to play on a server, I'm not going to say don't use refined storage and look at applied energistics. I'm 100% thinking about doing a, an applied energistics little tutorial guide, right? Because I did one for refined storage, but if it's going to do stuff like this, then yeah. Although I will just point out that it's the creative version, which isn't actually from refined storage. So creative exporter. That's from cable tiers. So a slightly different mod. So it might not be to do with specifically refined storage, but yeah, it corrupted a few chunks, which is not great. Uh, but I just wanted to point that out because as I said, we're trying to be as uh, like transparent as we can with uh, anything that happens on this server including, wow, what do they say, warts and all? So, yeah, you're going to see all of the issues that we also have. Uh, anyway, over here, we have got ourselves. Currently, there's only one undead log in there. I can't actually access it because it's, it's in the wall right now. I could have bumped these up, to be fair. I could bump this one up so it's like, yeah, and then we can have access to it. Maybe that's a good idea. I'm going to wait for the, this. This thing is super slow, by the way. Uh, yeah. Oh, before I forget as well, I did have to edit a couple of people's uh, like player data. Never done that before, but I edited it them because they were in those chunks that were corrupted, so they couldn't log in. <laughs> so I put them in spawn. So anybody that is on the server, this is a warning to you now. Don't go over here and log off. Try and be quite far away from this. In fact, I was specifically thinking about getting some uh, like yellow and black concrete and putting it like around that area just because, you know, it's like the yellow and black tape you get, like the police tape. Uh, but anyway, right, back to uh, Evilcraft. We have got nearly another piece of wood. Come on. It's so annoying, wasn't it? Okay, there you go. So that finished, and we got... We didn't even get a piece of wood. Oh, this thing is super, super, super slow. That's that's annoying. Right. Well, at least we got that one piece of wood. Uh, We could just break that. In fact, we could break this down here, couldn't we? You know what? Let's just break the entire thing, and I'll, I'll bump it up one. So we have access... I don't want to link it to my um, my storage just yet because if I link it to... Where did the wood go? Oh, it's still in there. Brilliant. I forgot it keeps its inventory. But anyway, if I, um, if I were to 
like link it, then other things can go in these slots, and I don't want that to happen. In fact, I should pop upstairs. Where's my... Uh, there it is. Because we should at some point... Yeah, we've got ender pearls. And we got fine silk. Where do we get fine silk from? Oh, I'm really annoyed that it doesn't show you the... Uh, let's stick it there for now. It doesn't show you anymore where... That's not full up, so you should be able to put it in. Okay, it is going in. Cool. Yeah, it doesn't show you where the mob drops are anymore. Maybe that was like a mod that added that. Wow, okay, these are all full up. Ender tears as well. Eh, go on, in you go. Uh, oh, we've got molten cores. Those are pretty good as well. We'll have those. Oh, we got nebulous hearts. Flipping heck. There's so much stuff that's coming out of these things. Uh, the way that I can help this along as well is if I just grab everything out of here and everything out of here, like that, I can then pop down, go over to the storage controller, and then right-click. There we go. And now everything should be going into drawers again, which is exactly what we want to see. These molten cores are really cool, by the way, because you can use them to make... Well, interdiction torches. You can make the staff, some of these bits and bobs. Dispels blaze fireballs and reflects ghast fireballs while howled. Puts out fires around you. That's pretty cool. Lots of stuff from uh, Reliquary. We didn't actually touch. Repairs gold items. That's really cool, actually. We could uh, definitely do with one of those. Although that is... Yeah, we need a slime ball for that. Or one of the sl slime pearls, I should say. Uh, what was the thing? That there you go. So we can make some magma creams and we can make blaze rods out of these. Although we are getting blaze rods and we've got 20 so far, which is pretty good. And we've got 10 ender pearls already. It's not bad. I wouldn't say this is the quickest in the world. The, uh, the drag me, drag me farm. But it's getting all the items. So that's pretty good. I think it's... Not as quick as uh, hostile neural networks, but it's still pretty good because it gets all of the other drops. Like, I don't think we get animal fat from hostile neural networks or the bees or, for example. And you can get like the, the reliquary drops. So if I do this, you can make them nowadays. You can use the spider and some of these uh, generalized essences, but... Anyway, where were we? We were making ourselves one of these pickaxes, the Vengeance pickaxe. So I did need some of these dark sticks. And with the dark sticks, all I need is some more hardened blood. Luckily, we have got some blood in here. So we just need that to finish off, like, drying up. And then we can make the Vengeance pickaxe, and then I can use... Ah, whilst that's doing that, I should probably make a block. So, the block is a way of removing... Okay, we just use this book. We stick it in over here. It's the way of removing... Oh my goodness, I need the promise of tenacity. Poop! Okay. How do I make the tier zero of this? So, we need the dusted, which means we need the crushed... Crushed Dark Gem, which means I'm going to make a squeezer because it's the easiest way. Squeezer. So let's quickly make a squeezer. Like a boss. And can we just squeeze a, a crushed Dark Gem? So you put two in and... You get a 50... Oh, oh, there we go. So you put one in and you get 100% chance to get crushed. Okay, let's do dark gem. One, two. And I'm also going to get a pressure plate. So let's get some stone. Make ourselves a quick pressure plate. I always like to use pressure plate on this thing because it makes it way easier. So you stick it in like that and then you just jump up and down. You have to get it like right in the middle. Is that not how you do it? 
It might be server lag, I am not entirely sure. Usually you just jump up and down on this thing, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it doesn't like, ah, maybe it doesn't have an inventory to put that in, so that's why it's doing that. And I believe the inventory goes out of this like little line that we see right here. No, it does look like the server's proper chugging right now. If I break this block, yeah, there you go, you can see. Oh no, maybe not. Oh, is it because I punched that? And you're not allowed to punch it, you have to use a pickaxe. Okay, let's stick it there and then grab a chest. It's a regular old chest and we can put that here. And now, if we jump up and down on this. No, you really don't want to jump up and down, do you? Okay, well, we'll take you out and I will convert you into a powered furnace. Or a powered version of this. Which is... Oh, you have to do all of the batteries and stuff. Okay, that doesn't look like a good idea. I might ask someone on the server to lend me two crushed for now. Thank you very much. Oh, he's given me a uh, a diamond backpack as well. With loads of food in it. No way. Thank you very much. That's awesome. I'm going to probably... Uh, I'll stick that on right now, actually. Uh, can I just leave it in my... I'll put it on here. You can have two backpacks at the same time. That's funny. <laughs> uh, so... With this, I just traded him two crushed, no, two dark gems for two crushed dark gems. I thought that was a good, good trade right there. So, promise of tenacity. So we need a dusted bowl, which comes from oh, dark gems. One, two, three. So we need to quickly stick these in here. Yeah, the book didn't convert because you need the higher versions I've got some dark gems Pilpo. <laughs> yeah people keep trying to give me stuff but as I said lob it in the, uh, the, the there is a chest over at spawn if you lob it in there then I can get access to it so just so as you know but yeah now all we need to do is I need to smelt this up so we can do that relatively easily. Also, I've kind of automated this as well. It's not really automated, but you know what I mean. If I grab a bunch of tiny coal like this and I lob it in like that, the tiny coal goes into the drawer and then this pulls from this drawer and then it puts it, puts it down. Uh, now, all of these hardened blood are gonna try and go into the system well, into this storage drawer or the storage controller, but it can't because I haven't got a drawer for hardened blood. So uh, we can at least make the pickaxe. So let's make the pickaxe. The reason we want this pickaxe is because it's got Fortune 5 and it's the simplest way of getting Fortune 5. The only problem is it's got Curse of Vengeance, which is not great because it will start spawning loads of nasty items for us. So... Nasty entities, I should say. So what we're going to do, and the whole point in doing this, is we've got this purifier over here. In fact, can... Oh, oh there we go. We've got these now. Yeah, what we're going to do is use some blood in here with the block. And that will purify... In fact, I don't know if we can just purify it straight away and get rid of... Let's, let's use the blood extractor. Let's put some blood in here. It looks like it is purifying it, which means this pickaxe is just going to have Fortune 5 on it. And it uses three buckets of blood, I believe. There we go. So if we have a look at this now. Ah, there you go. It took one of the Curse of Vengeance off. So we need to stick it back in and leave it until all of the Curse of Vengeance have gone away. And then eventually, we might need more blood. Oh dear. Yeah, I don't think that's enough blood in there right now. We've only got two buckets. Okay, let's pull that out, put that back in. How much blood have you got now? 2.2. .2. Interesting. We, we need to get, go get some more blood. Uh, which, again, what I might do for now is we'll pop to spawn. Just to speed everything up. You guys have seen me do this before. And we will get a bunch of blood. Can I get out there before? Yeah, did it. 
pop back to base. Now we've got more blood, we can stick more blood in there. We can use this to get the dusted bowl. I believe you need to chuck it in like this. I'll stick some blood in there. Is that not how you do it? It needs 5,000, so I need more blood. Okay, back to spawn. Now, here's something that you can do. You can use a dark tank. In fact, you can use several dark tanks like that. You can combine them together to get an even bigger one. So they start off as 16. You get a bigger one like that, and you can... Oh, a bit of desync. Oh, another bit of desync. Brilliant. You can combine them with your blood extractor. So 32 plus 5, and you get 37. So it just increases the tank of the blood extractor. So that does mean that when I pop back to spawn to get even more blood, because I forgot how much blood this is going to take. <laughs> eh, wait. Why are you not letting me fill this up now? Ah, oh, okay, that'll do it. Let's get back to base. Now we've got 37,000 millibuckets of blood. Now this thing is just chugging away. This is what takes ages. Uh, you need this for the promise of tenacity, which goes in this slot up here. And I also need to put a block of iron in here with 10,000 blood. And I need a spider's eye, which I'm getting from my uh, my draugmies up here. And then we can make some blooks. I could put a block in here. It will strip the enchantment. We could put that enchantment on our diamond pickaxe. I do need an anvil for that, which is fine. We can go get... Let's go make an anvil right now. Anvil. Uh, do I not have any iron? Okay. Let's do one of those. Now we've got an anvil. And I can plonk this anvil here for now. So that should be done. Let's grab another block of iron. Waiting for server. Classic. Now I believe this is going to take a while as well. Especially, well, after we put some blood in there, of course. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to take that long, but it is going to take a little bit. If you wanted some good food, then this is an insane backpack to have. This will actually make it so I have like... Probably... I'm, I'll be moving into my second row of extra hearts, if you know what I mean. Right, there we go. We got the promise of tenacity. I wanted to just make this before we end the episode, but if we plunk that in there. Put a bunch of blood in there. 32. Stick a book in. I think at this point... Yeah, there we go. This should start turning into a blook. There we go. Blook is done. Let's lob that in with this. This needs blood and something with an enchant. Now, if we pull that out, we've got... Why does it still say fortune? Oh, okay. So it lagged a little bit right there, so it wasn't done. Excellent. So I need to leave that for a little while. There we go. That looks like a different book to me. So if we pull that out, this has got no enchants whatsoever. And this one here, Fortune 5. We can stick that straight on this pickaxe. And this pickaxe now has Fortune 5. How cool is that? Oh, that's probably the only bit of evil craft I'm going to do this episode. But I will, I think next episode, why don't we get a little bit more out of uh, our mob farm up here using evil craft uh maybe not because we did that recently in the single player uh where i set up the spirit furnace i think it's called so maybe we don't do that maybe we just leave it and uh we move on we don't do evil craft for a little bit but if there's anything you want to see from evil craft just leave me a comment and maybe i'll go over it in an episode or two i think that's where i am going to leave it for today though so Thank you for watching, thanks for joining, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.